How do you clean a bioactive enclosure? That's a question I get a lot on my videos. This 40 gallon dart frog enclosure is growing really well. I figured it would be a good time to do a maintenance video. I begin by pulling out and trimming plants. It's nice to see growth like this, but if left unchecked, faster growing plants can smother and suffocate slower growing plants. Visually separate your enclosure between three parts, the foreground, midground, and background. Have your smallest, shortest plants up front and the tallest plants in back. This creates depth and more visual interest. If your enclosure is completely filled like an overgrown jungle, it makes it much more difficult to enjoy your animals. Look at all these plants I got from trimming. I'll propagate them for use later or to sell. This is how it looks after I'm done trimming and removing any decaying plant matter. This is the most maintenance I'll have to do for a while. By trimming all those other plants, new growth is able to happen. This apishi is blooming and it's absolutely beautiful. The enclosures had about a month to grow out now, and I added a new layer of leaf litter. Everything is filling back in well, and the super blue errata seem to be enjoying themselves. The beauty of bioactive enclosures is for the most part they are self-sustaining ecosystems. A slice of nature, if you will. Really the only regular maintenance I have to perform on this is keeping the glass clean. I use the same reverse osmosis water that I missed with and a paper towel to keep it clean. Isopods and springtails are going to do the majority of cleaning for you, breaking down animal and plant waste. What's left to do is to feed, enjoy, and observe your animal in its naturalistic, enriching environment. If you keep bioactive enclosures, comment your routine below. And don't forget to follow, it really helps out this channel.